It was last month the Consolidated Commission on Utilities sent a letter to Joint Region Marianas Commander Rear Admiral Bette Bolivar, pleading that she revisit a proposed Navy water increase which goes into effect next year. CCU Chairperson Simon Sanchez says till this day there has been no response. As you noted, it's been a month since our GWA meeting when we authorized uh, the letter. Uh, we haven't heard from Admiral Bolivar uh, or her staff. Sanchez says he did reach out to one of her staff in September when word of the increase was first received. And while he made attempts to see Rear Admiral Bolivar, he was instead deferred to staff. While they were in contact via mail, it did not generate any physical meeting, therefore prompting the official letter. Saying, you know, you're raising the rates 40 percent, no formal notice, another huge uh, rate increase. Um, it also began to raise the issues of, you know, it seems to be very expensive for the Navy to run a very small system. Um, and their, their rate that they're charging us, and presumably they're charging themselves, you know, is higher than GWA's rate. As we have reported, if the Navy increases its cost for water, it would mean GWA ratepayers would have to pay an additional 2 percent on top of the recent 17 percent increase just to cover the cost. To avoid this, Sanchez has reached out to island leaders. Speaker Wampat in her weekly address reiterates the CCU's concerns. Quote, I agree, let us supply the entire island with water as we have been able to do with power. DOD has been a Guam Power Authority customer for 20 years and has signed up for 10 more years. The people of Guam can and should manage our own resources, especially our precious water, end quote. As we reported as a result of the proposed increase, Sanchez believes that this opens the doors for discussion to merge the systems, as well as cut usage of Navy water even further than the 65 percent cut already made. When we heard about the increase, though, we got even more aggressive. So in... October, we cut our Navy water usage further. November, we cut it even further. I mean, we're trying to find a way to just get off the Navy water system. Sanchez says we are well on our way to not using Navy water, but that does not answer the question of why the Navy water is so expensive and why they won't talk on a formal level. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovez.